it's always the right thing to do to give back to the community. And this morning we're talking about one person who is standing out for the things that she has done, her contributions. Joining me now is Carlos Colasso. He's the director of operations at the Boys and Girls Club of New Haven. And our special guest, the Youth of the Year, Moshima Hall. Thank you so much for joining us, both of you. You know, I did, uh, we, we were talking a little bit earlier that we start off our newscast with all these stories about the, the youth violence and the, uh, and the lives that are being lost, you know, de demonstrations in Hartford, calls for some, or, uh, stuff in Bridgeport. And here you've got something that works against this. It's almost a, a timely that you're here today, don't you think? Yes, I think so. Tell me about your, your honor. You are the Boys and Girls Club um, Youth of the Year quite an accomplishment. It's a big honor. How'd you get it? Um, well, first you have to fill out an application and write essays about what the Boys and Girls Club means to you and um, post as a post high school education. And you will have to um, have good speaking skills. So I think any of us, any of us would have won because we all were good at it. Although we should, we should, we should certainly uh, uh, mention, uh, Moshima, that you've been a club member for the past 10 years. So you didn't, didn't just show up on the scene <laughs> here and, uh, and, and get this done. You uh, work toward it. You're a junior at Common Ground High School right now. What has the experience of being in Boys and Girls Clubs and getting this honor, how does it have your sights set on the future now? Um, well, since I didn't win the state competition, in the future I would have try to do it again next year. Um, but as for school, I think it'll be a good look on my applications for college. I so. guarantee it will. <laughs> Absolutely. Carlos, um, the Boys and Girls Clubs have been around for a long time. As a matter of fact, this particular honor is since 1947. Yes. And mm -hmm. sometimes I think the community sort of takes it for granted because it's always been there. Remind us what Boys and Girls Clubs, in this case of New Haven, is all about. Yes, well, well Boys and Girls Clubs all over the state and national are all about the kids. I mean, that's our purpose, is to serve the youth uh, who need us most. And um, I, I want to say that the Boys and Girls Club in New Haven does exactly that. It, it really serves those youth who are really looking for a place to feel important, feel, you know, recognized and made. And, and, and one important thing is safety. Uh, Boys and Girls Clubs around the world really, you know, uh, focus on safety and, um, you know, a, a youth of the year like uh, Moshima, that's why she attended a club because she really felt safe. And one of the things that we wanted to talk about in terms of keeping uh, everybody safe, especially during those dog days of summer when trouble yes. pops up yeah. so often, is your, uh, your camps. Uh, yes. that you run uh, from uh, July 7th to August 15th. Moshima took part uh, in the camps as part of your background in the Boys and Girls Clubs. Tell us about the camps. Well, the camps, you know, the great thing is, in addition to, uh, you know, us running an after-school program, we, we run a summer camp, and uh, our camp is going to be starting July 7th and running through August 15th. And the and hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so it's, it's all day long. Uh, you, you play sports, you, you, you talk, you yes, do activities, very, what, yes. what, what goes on? Uh, one, one major uh, program that we're running, it's a new initiative through the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, it's called Summer Brain Game, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's an in initiative to reduce the summer learning loss uh, that um, most children in America pretty much lose uh, once summer begins. So we're really focusing on ensuring that our youth have a, a program where they can read, do some, some academics. That's a very important thing. I don't think there's much appreciation for how much kids can lose uh, during the summertime. Hey, listen, I want to congratulate you, uh, <laughs> you. on your honor. I know you're going to wear it very proudly uh, as time goes on. Let's put up a, a graphic here showing a little bit more uh, about the camp. So anybody that's interested, uh, oh, you already took a look at that? Okay, so we got the facts on that uh, already. Uh, it is for 5 to 14 year olds and uh, registration is still open. Thank you very much for coming here and uh, good luck with your programs and have a great rest of the summer. Thank you very Thank much.